for influenza. Lauren! <sighs> Think something's up with Lauren. Which is the good virus? <laughs> Welcome to the Movie Summary Channel. If you like the featured video, please watch it in the theaters near you, or buy or rent the original movie from the links provided in the description. Like and share the video as it will help us out, and comment on what movies you like to be featured next. Movie Summary does not condone piracy and follows and complies with the fair use law. Now, let's watch the featured video. Simply sit tight, relax, and enjoy the video. Be aware that there is heavy spoilers ahead. At the height of the COVID-19 pandemic, people all around the world are struggling with a lack of quality entertainment. One studio has decided to go ahead and move into production, with the sixth installment of the blockbuster Cliff Beasts franchise, undergoing safety measures necessary to ensure the production runs smoothly. The film's executive producer, Gavin and his assistant Pippa meet with two new employees, Gunther and Bola, to discuss their jobs and to not engage the actors on set, as they are all assholes. The franchise's lead star, Carol Cobb, makes her return to the series after being absent for the fifth film, and the rest of the cast is upset with her for bailing. Her last effort as a serious actress, Jerusalem Rising, was widely panned for being offensive to both Palestinians and Israelis. She meets with her agent Marty, who prepares her for her return. Carol is also nervous about leaving behind her neurotic boyfriend Josh home alone with his two kids. Carol travels to London for the shoot and is put into quarantine in a hotel, where she spends her time eating junk food and watching movies. After her quarantine is over, she goes to a party to meet the rest of the cast and crew. Castmate Howie Frangopoulos is happy to see Carol and even begins to chat with Gunther. Series regular Lauren Van Chance is initially mad at Carol for not being in the last movie, but they quickly reconcile. Lauren has been in an on-slash-off relationship with co-star Dustin Mulray, as they share custody of an adopted son who hates both of them. Added to the cast is veteran actor Diana Bravo, who has a secret addiction to sex and drugs and attempts to hit on hotel employee Annika. The studio has also hired TikTok celebrity Crystal Chris to gain a younger audience. Production assistant Carla tries to form an alliance with Crystal while the series' other main actor, John Knox, views Crystal as competition. The film is being directed by indie director Darren Eigen, and Gavin is hounded by studio head Paula to make sure the shoot goes well. The crew begins rehearsals in action sequences, and Crystal does a TikTok dance with the crew and hotel employees. They start to shoot a scene from the film featuring a pterodactyl. Dustin has issues with the script, which he expresses to Darren. At the end of the night, Gavin comes to tell everyone that they all need to go back into quarantine because they had a positive COVID test within the crew, greatly upsetting everyone. With production being halted, some of the crew goes crazy back in their rooms. Crystal and Carla seem to form a genuine friendship, while Lauren and Dustin have sex on set when nobody is around. Carol also appears to form a mutual attraction to an athlete named Zaki that has joined the cast, though she attempts to remain loyal to Josh. Bola attempts to have the cast and crew do meditation, but Howie has reached his peak and storms off the set, telling everyone he quits. Despite the cast's protests, Howie leaves and his character is killed off-screen in the movie. Two months into production, the cast are tagged with trackers so the studio knows where they are at all times. After shooting another scene, Carol learns that Josh has started a relationship with a waitress, despite him, and the kids all staying at Carol's house. 
As a result, she starts to hook up with Saki. Meanwhile, Dider goes on an acid trip and becomes aroused by the AI and his workout equipment named Kate. He appears to enter the machine to have sex with her. Carol starts to feel ill and thinks she has COVID. After a series of tests, Gavin confirms the cast all tested negative for COVID, but some of them did test positive for the flu. They all shoot another scene, where Lauren gets dizzy and then vomits, followed by Carol and Dustin vomiting afterwards. Gavin talks to Paul again, who warns him that they are behind schedule. Carol gathers the cast and attempts to get them to quit the production due to the disastrous conditions. However, nobody sides with her and plans to continue shooting. The higher-ups catch wind of this and reduce Carol's lines and cut her dramatic scene with a baby dinosaur, giving it to Crystal and making it another TikTok dance and leaving Carol's big scene to be her wetting her pants after being scared by a dinosaur. Lauren and Dustin get into a big argument over their adopted son, leading to Lauren setting Dustin's laptop on fire. She begins to run outside the hotel, but Gavin has hired armed guards, and one of them sees Lauren running and flailing around and fires, shooting several fingers off her left hand. After the others find out, Gavin tries to save face by saying the guards thought Lauren was a crazed fan that broke onto the grounds of the hotel. He talks to Paula and studio chairman Tom over how to keep things running. The crew later has a meeting with stunt coordinator Steve to do more combat scenes. Carol grows more frustrated that her role continues to get reduced. Sean gets injured during a stunt gone wrong. Lauren is replaced by another actor wearing a green suit to CGI her face onto him. Paul tries to lift everyone's spirits by having musician back appear to make music for the movie. The cast and crew are later brought on for an interview, where Darren says the studio has already greenlit Cliff Beast 7, which causes Carol to snap and say she does not agree to any of that. Carol tries to get Crystal to help post a viral video telling people on the outside of the terrible conditions the cast and crew have to go through in an attempt to raise awareness and get them out of there. Unfortunately, Carla changes Crystal's mind because she says they will come off like whiny spoiled actors, so Crystal deletes the video. Crystal ends up in trouble herself, as a video of her parting and exposing herself to COVID goes viral, causing her to lose millions of followers. The cast gathers later and go on a drug binge, with everyone hallucinating that Gunther has become Benedict Cumberbatch, and they all do another TikTok video for Crystal's page. Dieter then starts to suffer from an overdose, but he is revived by Annika with an adrenaline shot to the heart. This moment gets Carol to inspire everyone and say that they can take care of each other and help one another escape the set. After shooting another ridiculous scene, Carol, Sean, and Crystal start trying to make their escape. Carol is chased by James McAvoy, while Sean is pursued by security, and Carla tries to stop Crystal by telling her that she was paid to be her friend and ensure that she finishes the movie. After escaping their pursuers, the three are joined by Dider and Dustin. Darren attempts to stop them and gets into a wimpy fight with Dustin. They get into a chopper with Annika and manage to escape, while Gavin and Darren are left worrying for the future of their careers. Darren figures they can just put a cut together from whatever they shot. Sometime later, the cast attends a premiere for a documentary of the film's disastrous production, called Beasts of the Bubble. Lauren has also gotten a new robot hand, while Dieter is in a relationship with Annika and has gotten the real Kate from the workout machine to be their third partner. For influenza. Lauren! <laughs> Think something's up with Lauren. Which is the good virus? <laughs> Thank you for watching our featured video here in Movie Summary. I hope you have enjoyed watching our videos. Please like and share this video on your social media and subscribe to our channel to help us grow. Comment down below on what movies you like to be featured next.
and click the notification bell so that you will be notified every time we post new videos. Bye for now and see you in the next upload of our next videos.